Hey, it's Eric Plattenberg. People's number one fear is public speaking, actually getting up and giving presentations in front of groups. I'm, I'm here at TEDx at the site of TEDx Bend, where we have some of the most phenomenal, inspiring presenters from literally all over the country. And I thought that you'd enjoy hearing a little bit about what they've done to prepare and maybe what some of their fears are and what's going on in their world. So let's meet some of the speakers. So what'd you do to prepare for your talk, Joe? Um, for me, the big thing was visualization. Visualizing the crowd, the audience, the energy, the lights, and just visualizing myself doing this thing over and over again so that when I actually end up doing the talk, I've done it a hundred times in my mind already. And what makes you nervous about standing up and speaking? I just, just I want to do a good job. I don't want to disappoint. I think I'm not worried about what people think of me. I just I want to do the best I possibly can, and it makes me nervous to say, could I get it my own? Way? Now this is one of the biggest speeches of your life, isn't it? It sure is, no question. What's the difference between delivering this speech, which is a huge speech for you, yep. and just talking to three or four or five people? You know. The, I have to tell myself that there's no difference because that's the key. I just have to go up there and do what I do, what I love to do, what I was built to do. But behind, in the back of my mind, I'm t um, I find myself saying, yeah, but you know what? You screw this up and who knows? So you better do a good job. But no, I, I, I find myself even now preparing myself 24 hours before the event saying, this is, you're doing what you love. You're doing, you're sharing a message that matters. Just go do it. What advice would you have to somebody who has to give their own big presentation? Um. It's like, you know, the biggest thing when, what makes my heart pound is scouting. Thinking about it, looking at it, scouting it, and then I go back and I'm doing my breathing exercises and I'm untying the boat, getting the bow line going. And then once you push off, it's like, okay, everything's going to be okay. What I took away from what they had to share with us today is, is that it's so incredibly important to see a positive picture in your mind prior to getting up on stage. And whether that stage is three people or 300 people or 3,000 people, it's incredibly important to see it, to visualize it, to scout it, as Kelly said. And, you know, it's, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're invited to the biggest conferences in the world. You're still going to have fears. You're still going to feel nervous or butterflies or some anxiety. And it's about really grounding yourself and having some foundational skills with which to go forth. Kelly was one of two presenters in the entire TED event. They got a standing ovation and Joe just knocked it out of the park. Both of them had done some very specific things to prepare to talk. And I know that some of you are interested in speaking as well. Our speaker school is coming up. Click on the button at the bottom of the screen if you're interested in that. But most importantly is be really taking the time to work on your presentations. Again, whether that's a small meeting or something huge, see it in your mind prior to diving into it. You're going to get tremendously more effective results. I hope that helps. Have a fabulous week.